All right, so recording in progress, you're going to get the review. This is the Sales Factory monthly book review, the 15th of March 2023. This is three books down. How many more to go? If there are 12 months in the air, three books down. How many more to go, guys? Nine more to go. Yes, nine more books to go. <laughs> okay. All right. I like my people that that uh, that are book lovers like me, you know, so powerful, so powerful. All right. So in 2008, they introduced their first physical products. Now they have more than one. They have they have Amazon Echo now and all that. The Kindle was their first product. The goal for the Kindle was very simple. The goal was this. They want every book that was ever printed in every language, all available in less than 60 seconds on the Amazon Kindle. Is that not ambitious? <laughs> what do you guys think? Was that, was that not ambitious? Hello, guys. Was that not ambitious? Really, really, really ambitious, right? They didn't even start with the product. Oh. Oh, but they started with the vision. They didn't have the resources for it. They didn't have the manpower for it. They didn't have the experience for it. They had nothing for it. How can you just wake up? You stand in front of your staff. You never even plan the thing. You just came and said, we're going to create a tablet, a Kindle, right? That every book that was ever printed on this earth in any language will be available in your fingertips in less than 60 seconds. And it's true because I bought a book today on Amazon. It entered my Kindle in less than 60 seconds. In less than a minute. That was an ambitious goal. But mm -hmm. here is the mental model behind it. I like to look at the mental model behind the actions that great men take. The mental model behind the actions that great men take. Here's the thing. He said that. He said that. He calls it thinking backwards. He said that if you only create things based on the competencies that you have, that when things change, you will get overwhelmed. But even if you don't have the competence and you start to walk backwards, you will start to attract the competencies, the people, the events, and the circumstances that will help make that happen. I thought that was very, very powerful. It correlates with a morning ginger I dropped before, even before I read this, when I talked about pre-motem and not post-motem. And I, I, I've changed it from being pre-motem or post-motem because post-motem has to do with death. And a lot of people are uncomfortable with that. So I've changed it because usually when something happens, you will do a post-analysis as in why did it happen? Why did it fail or why did it succeed? That's a post-analysis. But I said, let us flip it in our head and say we can do a pre-analysis. And say to us, even before we embark on the action, we can say, why did we succeed in March? Did you get that? Did you get that? So you see that it is correlated with this. So what is, what is the takeaway from this first highlight? You don't wait to have the competencies first. You don't wait to have the skills first. You don't wait to have everything lined up first before you embark. If it's truly a vision in your heart, you want to ask yourself, you start with the vision. Because a vision is not where you are going to. A big and a great vision is where you are coming from. Let me explain. And this guy just explained it. They declare the vision. They want every book in every language accessible to you in Amazon Kingdom in less than 60 seconds. That's the vision. So they started to come back from the vision. By coming back from the vision, they started looking, saying to themselves, what are the skills? What are the human resources? What are the competencies that we will need to make it happen? 
So you start from the goal. You come back from the goal. You don't even go towards the goal. Did you see that? Is that understood? First lesson. Is that understood? Is everybody in this class or do I need to unmute? Yes, sir. We are muted now, so you won't hear us when we are okay, saying Okay, let me let me unmute everybody. <laughs> we, we are on no, mute. No, it's mute us to avoid noise. Okay, let me, I've unmuted, uh, but I can say just to avoid noise, that's why I, 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 I did. Did you get that now? Yeah, we got that. We got that. You got the first one, right? Yes, no. we got it. That's the first highlight. You want to walk from. So I hope I have satisfactorily explained that the vision is not only where you are going to, it's where you are coming from. Yes. Did you get that? So that becomes your North Star. You weigh every action against it. You begin to weigh every action against. That's the first one. The second lesson, the second point that we will be looking at here is he was speaking about the customer. He said something here. He said, heads down, focus on customer, help us to help, help us make substantial progress in 1999. He said, when you wake up in the morning, don't fixate on the competition. Fixate on the customer. This is very powerful. But what do people naturally do? Is it not the customer that people focus on? The competition. Two of us. True. Most people look at Very the true. They look at it, but if you if you really look, at it, I'm not saying ignore the competition entirely. But just once in a while, look, and I'll I'll tell you the truth from my own end. Let me just tell you from you. I can't remember the last time I looked at the page of another trainer or coach in Nigeria, even in the West. It's very hard. I can't remember it. Honest to God, God is my witness. I cannot remember. I'm just fixated on my competition. Oh, sorry, on my com on my community, on my customer. How do I make this better? And guess what? Because you are focused on that, right? You remember they say, anything where you focus on becomes bigger. Hello? Hi, we're here, sir. you focus on, you become bigger at it. So the idea here is that don't fixate on what the competition is doing. Rather, Fixate on asking yourself the following question. How can I improve the customer experience? It's a tough question. How can I improve? Because when you keep asking yourself those kind of questions, you begin to come up with ideas. For example, where I live here in, in, in England, I have it was reading this book. That's when I understood why they did what they did. Amazon partnered with some of the biggest grocery stores around. If you go to some grocery stores, you will actually see an Amazon stand there. So that if they cannot come to your, or to your house, right, they will drop your goods in a supermarket close to you. They pay the supermarket though. The supermarket gets paid. Why? What is driving that? Is it not to improve the customer experience? Hello? Hi. It's to improve on the customer experience. So in your own way, you are thinking, in what way can I improve the... Let me read it verbatim. He said, but there is no rest for the weary. I constantly remind our employees to be afraid, to wake up every morning terrified, not of our competition, but of our customer. Our customers have made our business what it is today. And our customers are the ones that will make our business what it will become tomorrow. So I think the logical thing is to focus on how do I give them the following things? Help them get what they cannot get. Uh, help them do what they can't do. Help them do what they won't do. And help them do what they don't do. Can I say it again? If you want to improve on the customer experience, you must answer the following questions. What can I help? My customers help. If you can help your customers do the following things, help them do what they can't do, help them do what they don't do, and help them do what they won't do. Did you see that? That intersection of that forces you to want to improve on the customer's experience. Now, guess what? When the customer experience improves, what happens to your business? 
when the customer experience improves, what happens to your business? Yours improves as well. In what way does it improve? I have unmuted everybody. Please, you can talk now. You can talk now. Hello? Hello? Are we here? Yes, we're here, sir. Good evening. So as I said, if the customer, if you actually improve on the customer's experience, what happens? You can unmute yourself, please. Unmute your, yourself. I want to hear your voices. Forget about the noise. You can talk. We're here, sir. Can you hear me, sir? Good, good. I, I can hear you. If you improve on the customer's experience, and you know that improving on the customer experience means that you are not focused on what you can get. Yes. You are focused on what you can give. Is it not so? Yes, sir. Very true. Yes. And that, and that is, and you know, it's all about, okay, it is more blessed to give than to do what? Than to receive. Than to receive. It's very spiritual. Is it not so? You are just yeah. figuring out a way. Host has disabled mic. Oh, oh. Oh, I don't know. No, I want to unmute themselves. So you can now you can unmute. Can you unmute yourself now? If you can't say yes. Aha. Yes, 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 yes. yes. So now let's yes, go back to, to what I bought. But let's not um, if you know your, your background is very annoying, you can mute your, your yourself. Here's what the guy said. He said that we fixate on the customer. Now I was asking the question that if you and I work tirelessly on improving the customer experience in our own business, what happens in our business? What happens? For me, for me too, I get um, customer retention. So yes. I would definitely get repeated purchases from that same customer. Yes. And two, I'll get referrals. Good. And both of them increases my sales and increase my margins. Fantastic. Fantastic. That's very, very good. Very, very key. Because and it, to add like to it. that, go ahead, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so to add to that, it should also reduce the my cost of customer acquisition. Very so good. I won't have to run a lot of ads because I've already worked at retaining my customers to enable them. Very good. Very good. And you know that improving on the customer experience is that mm -hmm. you must be obsessed with this your mm -hmm. business you must be people that do five businesses in that early stage of business if that can be dicey you must be obsessed with this you must think about your business a lot you must spend a lot of time thinking about how you can improve on the customer experience and some of the improvement will cost you money hello Hi. some of the improvement will cost you money but before you think about the one that will cost you money you can reframe the question this way and say in what way can i improve the customer experience without spending money that's a question that you can ask so i want to throw that question here now somebody can speak can put up your hand i will allow you to talk is there anybody here that can share with us you run a business and you think through in what way can you improve the customer experience without spending money first? Hello, Hello good okay. evening. Good evening. So, or, or, hang on. When you go to work tomorrow, if you have a staff, you have staff, you can actually throw that staff, that question to your staff and say, in what way can we improve the customer experience without spending money? That's a very good question to ask. And you'll be amazed oh. at the genius of it. So go ahead. You were trying to say something before we run. All on. right. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. So my name is Ariella. Yeah. Thank you for this um, review. So to increase your customer experience, basically for me, what I do is I give updates on every step of their purchase. Very good. I'm in real estate, for example, clients that buy from me, I give them updates. For those that have bought land, I give them updates that here is an update. Perimeter fencing has been done. We are mm. working on the road network now. You know, I give them back-to-back -back updates. And not only that, I also let them know the developments mm. going on around that axis. And 
stylishly poach something else that would um, generate um, another high returns on investment for them. Yeah. So that's how I can increase my, improve my customer experience. experience. That's very, very powerful. So if you buy anything from Amazon, immediately they'll tell you your product has been shipped. Immediately you get an email to track where your product is. The moment they deliver the product in your house, they will tell you they dropped it in the bin. They drop it in my bin if I'm not around. They open my dustbin and drop it in if nobody's around. So that means that that process has been automated. Is it not so? Is it not so? So it's easier yeah. that, that way. So we, we sure. Yeah, we can start with the mundane. Then as we grow, we are thinking about how to automate the process. Did you get that? For example, is this book? You know, I, I have to, there are two there are two groups here. There is the monthly payment group, and then there's the group that people paid for one year. Do you know how I cracked that problem? I got technology because before when people join a WhatsApp group, when they've not renewed their subscription, you can't take them out. But with this technology right now, you join the group. After one month, they'll give you five days grace. If you don't want to renew, it just takes you out. It has automated the process. We must also think about in what way can we introduce technology. It's not easy. It's tough. But if we do that, the experience becomes a lot better. So... Uh, my sister that just spoke now, that process, you know, you can write that process down. Ari, are you not laugh? Hello? Are you not laugh? Hello? Hello, I can hear you, yes. That process Hello. Now, that process now, yes. what I would advise you to do is, uh, even this lady said it, she runs one of the biggest air care business in, in the UK now, and I interviewed her in the podcast. She says she just writes down the process and gives it to her staff. She has not even automated it yet. So you can just today or tomorrow and write it and say, once property is bought, we send papers updates after seven days. Once property is bought, we send updates about the environment after two weeks. Once property is bought, we send a bouquet of, of fruits to the clients. Those are the five immediate things that must go out. So you write that down and just give it to your guys. So anytime right. you come to the office and say, we just sold you, tell the person your job is to remind me of this thing I just told you now. So ask me, yeah. checklist, checklist. Ma, have we sent the bouquet of fruits? So we have a someone that packaged that fruit for us. Ma, have we sent um, the updates of the of when the C of O or the particulars of the property will come. And that we, even in the update, we give them, if we know that the particulars will come in two weeks, we tell them the particulars will come in four weeks. Just in case. You understand me? Yeah. Aha. Very well. Aha. So that gives that experience that way. That way. These are small that they used to build the trillion dollar business. And they commit to this thing like madness. Ronke, go ahead, please. Good evening, evening, everyone. Good evening, evening. Mr. Good evening. Fo. Yeah. So I run the post in Pantry Estates Queen. And um, so some of the ways that we um, improve customer experience without spending money is actually sticking to our service offering and going over and beyond. So we deal with people's children and we know how dear the children are to the parents. So we ensure that we, there's always effective communication. Good. Parents want to know at all times that, oh, did my child go to schools like our own child? Did my child go how many times? That kind of thing. So we ensure that um, they get this sort of feedback. Okay, can you place your mic where some people say they can't hear you well? Okay. Uh, um, we ensure that they better. um they get the feedback as often as possible. The younger ones are not able to um, read and write yet. We make sure that they have their communication book and we make sure that we also um, use our uh, in-house portal to ensure that parents get the feedback that they want. And these days we find that some parents may not check WhatsApp or they may not check um, emails, one thing or the other. So what we've done is to ensure that we give them the information where we know that they will find it. So we ask them, where do you want? What's your preference? Some of them will tell you Instagram. If it's Instagram that you want your own feedback, they will give it to you. Um, on Instagram. So we reach them where um, they want. We celebrate their birthdays. So even if it's the children in the class of your child that are making a card for the parents to say, 
um, happy birthday. We connect with them on LinkedIn. So we normally know when they're promoted or one thing or the other is happening in, in their lives. We celebrate with them. Um, whilst we are more of a Christian school, we are, we will celebrate you if you're doing your own Diwali or you're doing your own Chinese festival or whatever it is. So, so that it doesn't look like we don't care about um, other people of other faiths in the school. Fantastic. Fantastic. Um, feedback is always very timely. Um, we always personalize the learning for the children. One of the things that we tell our, our parents here is that your children don't need extra lesson at home. So if the child is struggling with an aspect of learning, we make sure that we take time out either in the mornings or after school to make sure that the child has some kind of intervention and we do it on the house. We don't charge the parents for it. Oh, that's um, we, that's um, we make sure that uh, sometimes when we feel that a child has a talent or a gift in a particular aspect and the parents are not yet convinced, maybe they're very good at football or music, we we'll put it on the house mm. for the term so that the parents can actually see that look, you need to do this for your child. So we'll do it on the house to, uh, to spark the interest of that parents. Um, just a positive environment at all times. We're very friendly, we smile, we greet. Um, we always check on the parents. We ask them how they're doing. I personally do random calls to my parents to say, hey, how are you doing? We're very responsive to their concerns. No matter how small it is, we will just, you know, jump on a Zoom call, do something so that they will know that we are not playing with them. Um, we will, what does so many no, things? Okay, that's, that's enough. That's enough. So that so I mean, too I will, many hands are off. <laughs> but I will conclude to, by saying that it is important that we also spend money because yeah. if you love someone, you will spend money. Yeah, no, of course. So, at, so, at some yeah. point in, yeah. the, in the experience, it is inevitable that money will go. But I just wanted us to start with the ones that we do not need to spend money on and then we grow from there. Cool. Thank you. Fantastic. Yeah. So I want one more person, two more people. Benjamin, your hand has been Ola, Ol, 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 Olu, Bamike. Your hand has been up. So I give you guys one more minute before we go to the next point, which is so important as well. So go ahead, Benjamin. Mr. Benjamin, please. Okay. Um, can, can you hear me very well? Yeah. Okay. So a very quick one. Um, and this came out of an experience, right? Good. So someone wanted to buy porcelain tiles. Mm. And he requested one of my friends that was actually like a partner to help him with a tiler that can measure the space, right? Mm -hmm. And so that he will know the amount of tiles that he wanted to buy. Yeah. But the guy said, no, that that's not his business. His business is to sell tiles. Do you know that the guy, you. Lost, Go ahead. Yeah. Right. Yeah. the guy lost that business? Can he took his business to somebody else. That could no, give no, no, him a time. They don't, they don't understand the context. Say it again. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is this, right? You can offer on. I'm, I'm, I'm responding to your question about how, what can you do the experience, yeah, without, without, spending money, without yeah. necessarily spending money. Good. Have that kind of business, for example, have a list of tilers, good mm. tilers in your custody. Anything that you sell, right? have a list of complementary services or Benjamin, products. Benjamin, 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 let's put a framework around it. I love frameworks. Can I add a okay. framework to what you just said? Okay. Ask, that means ask yourself a question. What do customers need to do before, before they buy something from me? Exactly. And what do customers need to do immediately after they buy something from me? Perfect. So that when those two questions come up, I can answer it for them. You can answer it for them and direct Brilliant. them to trusted people. So tomorrow, Fantastic. when they are when 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 anybody is even asking them, ah, where can I get a tiler? They know someone that has a has a tile business that Very can give you a tiler that can give you every other complimentary stuff for free. That can just link you to them. Not that he's paying for them; just linking you to them Brilliant. for free. It increases Thanks. business. Very very good. That's a good one. That's a good one. Thank you, bro. Thanks, bro. I love that. Um, Olu Olu Bamike. Did, yes, I get your name, did I get your name right? Yes, you tried. <laughs> you tried. All right. Good evening, everyone. Good and evening. It's great to be here. I'm new on this platform, too. So and this is my first. Thank you. Meet. First book review, yeah. We have yeah, nine more right. books to go, man. Okay, I wanted to just make a point. You, you, mentioned, um, you, you mentioned something about writing process, and I wanted to link that with the voice note you shared in the morning when you talked about most times people do post mortem post analysis of yes, yes what what worked and what didn't work 
Sorry, I think our network went off. Susan, can you speak on that quickly? One minute. Thank you so much, Coach. Good evening, all. Oh. Good evening. Yeah, so my name is Susan. Uh, I mean, you're a customer service, service trainer. You yeah, yeah, service yeah, 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 Coach. <laughs> okay, so I want to um, say so something Susan, first. you just say something. You are a banker, and you guys mm. gave a terrible experience doing this. Mm. Mm, so you need to uh, coach, to that. coach, cover that banking site first. <laughs> okay, so I want to state first that there's a difference between customer service, customer experience, and customer satisfaction. Great. Now, most of what we have said here is basically customer, customer service is what you do. What you do, the action that you do as a salesperson, as a business person, as a whatever. Now, what you do is different from what the customer experience. Now, you may do everything you think is right, but the experience is not there for the customer. Now, even it is ex at the point where the customer experience the action of what you do, that is when the ultimate, which is customer satisfaction, comes in. Now, how do you get to the point of customer satisfaction? You have to list it. Now, somebody said, we do this, we do, I do this, I do this, I do this. Everything that you do, did you get feedback from the customer? Is that the customer's concern? I'm very pleased with what uh, Benjamin said. You know, he was like, that's what, you, whatever business you're doing, uh, and, you, and you wrapped it, wrapped it up well, coach. You said, what does the customer need before buying from me? And what does the customer need after exactly. buying from me, you yeah. cannot know that in total if you don't listen to the customer. Brilliant. That's so powerful. to wrap it up, I will say powerful. satisfaction is different from customer service. Mm. And whatever, don't give customer service based on what you think customer needs. Mm. Give customer service based on what you know customer needs. Brilliant. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you very much. That's very, 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 good. very, very good. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, let's look at let's look at the let's look at the next point. I, 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 I'm uh, I'm I'm cutting betwixt two on, on, on this two points. Let me go with the first one. I'll come to the other one. Highlights, another highlight said expanding our partnership program. Through our platform, we are able to bring tremendous value to our partners, such as drugstores, supermarkets. In fact, our experience so far suggests that Amazon.com may easily be the most efficient effect and effective means for our partners to build their own businesses. I want us to start thinking in terms of partnerships, collaboration. This is Amazon. They collaborate with pharmacies, supermarkets to give, to improve the experience. I partnered with a company called Bumper recently. They paid me to talk about their business for 90 days on all my media outlets. If you've listened to any form of content I'm going to create now, I will talk about Bumper at the end. That is a form of partnership. Now, they were not the one that came up with the idea. I solicited the idea. Did you get that? So you want to think, who can I partner with? Or you can say to yourself, who is currently doing business with the kind of people that I want to do business with? So Bumper is a, is the app whereby you can build your own website and sell directly from Instagram. So I said to them that you guys always talk to small business owners. Most of them listen to me. So let's partner. I make your partnership clear. I didn't say to them that it's a guarantee that you make sales. Anytime I mention, you know. I said it's publicity and it increases the odds, the probability. It's not a guarantee, but the odds is increased. Make it clear. So I want to throw it back to all of you now today. Who can you partner with that can accelerate what it is that they're doing? Microsoft is Microsoft today because they partnered with IBM. Every computer IBM made it was the Microsoft software that ran it. That's what made Bill Gates a billionaire. So think, who can I partner with? Which communities can I partner with? Who is dealing with the people that I want to deal with? 
And some of the partnership may be paid. Some of them may be free because of what you want from the partnerships. So I want to throw that in. Now. Let's talk partnership now. So you can unmute yourself now. Everybody has anything to say. Hello. Yes. I'm here. Okay. All right. So for me in my industry, what I did was um, I partnered with some HR personnel in some companies, right? Mm -hmm. So the partnership is just based on you refer someone to me and you get um, a cut from my commission, huh. right? And then I also partnered with, so what I did was because I'm just trying to explore the online marketing, mm -hmm. I sent a message around to my key, my friends that are in the industry, like top industry, like all this oil and gas banks and all. Mm -hmm. I sent them a message that refer someone to me and earn so, so, so amount or bring this to me, you know, I just coined something and I got a lot of um, good responses. Mm -hmm. So for me, that's um, a form of partnership and it has really worked for me over the years. Mm. That's a good one. Yes. Anybody wants to speak to that? What communities can I partner with? That theory, your hand is up. That's okay. Yeah. yeah. So I'm a tech person and I build uh, platforms Okay. and I prefer to build platforms for myself. Good. And so I built a platform that has is basically a multi-tier affiliate marketing system for okay. what I will be selling. Okay. Well, Tabba, just hang on. After after that, for you speak, go ahead. Okay. So after I created that, um, I found out the core thing that I have to sell wasn't quite available yet, mm -hmm. although I got some people to register. Mm -hmm. And so instead of waiting for my products to be ready, I remember I had a friend who was, who was a coach mm -hmm. and I knew some people into the coaching field. So I called them up and <clears throat> as a matter of fact, between last week and now, I called about four of them mm -hmm. and all of them said yes, mm. because they have people who they want to train and they think they see that it's going to help them. You know, the referral system inbuilt will help them get more customers. Very good. But I said, okay, instead of me to wait for my product to be ready. These guys already have products that they are selling. Very good. Let me ask them and then ask them for a share in their, in their profits, something, a commission per sale. Very so good. everyone has said yes, but we are just bargaining now. Hmm. So you want to also 10X the, the, the partnership. If, it's fine if, 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 if this works in the coaching community, which other, which other related communities? Yeah, these people, they, they teach. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to teach people stuff. These good. guys already teach and they're more yes. ready than I am. Very, very good. Or another thing you want to think about again is that there are people who are not currently teaching, but they have a large okay. audience. And you okay. feel that if they teach, things will happen for them more if you build their brand. Okay. So you want to go to them with an offer that is juicy. Okay. Aha. So it's just, you're okay. just thinking in mm -hmm. terms of partnership. I'll give you an example, another partnership. I don't, because of these political things, I've just left her. There is a governor in this Nigeria. Somebody called me to come and speak at a conference. The person didn't pay me, but I knew that the governor's wife was coming. So I went. And as God will have it, she came late. So I spoke before her. This is partnership now. Strategic partnership. You know when dignitaries are coming, you're being, wah, 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 wah. you know, as I was speaking, and I heard that, and I heard that dignitaries have come. I put more fire in my speaking. I was vibrating more. When I was there, the woman now entered. So who be this speaking with this speak? From there, until Politica Burabura, Bura, that woman was buying over a thousand copies of my books every single year. I'm talk of all that thing, so. Some partnership. The people that took me there, they didn't pay me. They didn't give me anything. Though. Once the partnership is strategic, look at what Rihanna did with Super Bowl in America. You know, they didn't pay her for that performance. But she has sold a lot of her makeup company because of partnership. So let's think in terms of partnership. It's a leverage that can take your, your stuff higher. And think about what you can give, you know, to that person did you get that was otaba go ahead are you guys enjoying this are you enjoying this oh yes very well very well we are 
Otavo, we're enjoying it, boss. Otavo, go ahead, yeah. Okay, so um, we were talking about um, collaboration or partnership. Yes. So um, lately, I decided to go to, or rather, meet with um, some lawyers and some doctors. Very because good. I realized that before, before a doctor, every rich man is a small boy. Mm. I mean, because mm. before that doctor, he, he, he reveals every secret. Mm. He reveals mm. two people that they don't tell lies to uh, doctors and lawyers. Mm. So I started, being, I, started, I started meeting with some doctors around where I stay and then the ones I have on my contact list. I started meeting with them. I started meeting, coming into a partnership with some lawyers. Mm. So, I mean, in front of a lawyer, a rich man also is still a small boy because he's, he's dropping all his assets and telling that, this is who I am. This is mm -hmm. my auntie clean with this. Mm -hmm. Because he wants to be at um, probably the, the favor of the lawyer or what have you. Mm -hmm. So I started coming in partnership with just these two professions, mm -hmm. knowing the fact that every rich man would always have a doctor. Every rich man would always have a lawyer. Yes. So, and they are pushing forth my, my stuff to, to these people. Cause it, although it's new, but I, I, I just I, I gained that knowledge lately, so I, I started to utilize it. Very, very good. Very good. Well, Another thing that you want to think about now is you want to say to yourself, okay, is there a lawyer's conference? Is there a doctor's conference? Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Can I buy a booth? Can mm. I be a fly on the wall? Mm. <laughs> you want to think about it now because they did a conference in Lagos not long ago. The Nigerian petroleum industry did a oil and gas conference in a quote. I think they quote in Lagos. The only real estate company I saw there was a company called Crockstone. And I saw it on Instagram. I figured that I said, This is brilliant in this company. And they are doing well. Mm. The company. Because think about it. Now, people they work for air company, now they buy a house now. Yes, yes. Ah, yes. Nah. Most of them, they yes. pay them in dollars. They pay them mm. in dollars. So the real estate yes, guys, are, it, it just it just it just sweets me. Hmm. Irene, Irene Ola, did you do you know that company? Did it just sweet my mind? I said this is very very strategic partnership, partnership. Awesome. Any other person, please. Let's look at one more thing and then we close. It's more than an hour now. Are you guys enjoying this? Is this worth your time? Oh yes, absolutely. <laughs> Yes, it is. There's one more. There's one line here that I really, really like here. The guy said that. Um, huh? He said, "We must look at his words. Strong words. Said, we must work hard to grow our number of the number of customers who shop with, with us. Increase the number of customers, the size. He said then we must also work hard to increase the number of products that they purchase from us." We must work out to increase the frequency with which they shop with us. And we must also work out to increase the level of satisfaction that they get from us. Yes. Can you see the, can you see the demands on these people? Can I say it again? Number one, increase the number of people that buy from me. Increase the my customer base. How can I increase my customer base? You're thinking, in what way do I need to attend events? Do I need to shake more hands? Do I need to ask, in what way can I increase the number of, of uh, people that know me or uh, do business with me? I went to an event not long ago in London. I met one lady. I don't know if they woman, they sell only luxury properties. I N London luxury properties. Very big man picking for Nigeria, self. And then this person messages me and say, I'm doing a Zoom training for all my realtors. I don't know if they get realtors like that for London, self. They sell only premium properties. Only premium. I want you to come and speak to them for me next month. They've given me dates, everything. One event. She said, I have 37 realtors under me. We sell only premium properties in this London. Because I went for one event. So that event has a multiplier effect. Did you get that? Some of you have never, att have not attended a physical event in a while. You should think about it. You don't attend conferences. 
you don't attend events. And when you attend, say, if you don't shake hands, you they quick come out for there. Even when you go to church, after church, you go, oh, your Bible, you they go out. You they go out. So those things help you to increase the number of customers that you have. It increases the number of customers that you have. I'm speaking at a conference in London on the 1st of April, a big real estate conference. In fact, the head of the Nigerian business community in London is a keynote speaker at that event. The person that's organizing the conference, I met the person in another conference. If they see him, they don't meet themselves again. I've been, I've been, they feel you. I've been, 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 I've Push, we push. Are, we are dumbfounded, so we know if talk. So now we one thing they lead to another. But when some of them go to the event and the quiet, the humble, humility. In humility. You know, see this generation putting the closed mouth. Too. They're there every year. Are you not seeing me? Are you not seeing me? Not sorrow, soke. Not sorrow, soke. Sorrow, soke. Close mouth is a closed destiny. You, know, you have to yes, speak sir. up. You have to speak up. You see? Ah, uh, you know, you need to look at that. You need to look at that. How can I increase my number of course, my customer base? You can do Instagram live. You can just think about different, different ways through which you can get new. Because your survival and my survival is the number of customers. The number of customers that you have. And when you get one, wow them. Wow them. Because the first thing this madam said to me, see, do you... I, I, I saw you. I saw you speaking at the conference in London, and you wowed me. You wowed me. I saw the little woman. I said, eh? I said, eh? Again, eh? So any ex any opportunity they give to you, scatter the place. Scatter the place. That's what Amazon is doing. Amazon will give you such a great service. You'll be looking. You'll be telling people about them. Amazon pay for this. That's advice. right. So that they review the man book. <laughs> The man pay, <laughs> and they know how to make money. They will tell you to pay for Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime means say they will deliver your product to you immediately the next day. You will pay subscription for that. Next day delivery. Next day delivery. They pay like <laughs> like 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 seven pounds a month for that. They tell you to pay for Amazon Kindle, six pounds. You know this we go put. They know how to collect small money. Now it's not for Nigeria. In beach. <laughs> but yeah, no problem. That's why they collect small money. If you not be two million, five to two million, ah. they don't have to collect some more money and they don't have to scale them. That's what the man said. Increase it. Number two, how can you increase their, the number of things that they buy? This is why you should do cross selling and upselling. Many people don't institute cross selling in their business. Let me explain the difference. Because some people may assume that they know it, but let me just add to it. How do you cross sell? Cross selling is this. You went to a shop to buy phone. Now iPhone 11 are the user. No, this one they use more techy phone. No, no laugh me. <laughs> so you go to the shop. Say you want to buy phone. A good salesperson will ask you that. So what do you do for a living, ma'am? Oh, I do real estate and I also create content. Oh, fantastic. So how, where, where do you place your phone when you create the content? I hold it to my hand. Do you know you can use an, a, 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 a tripod stand? If you buy this right person, they have cross-sold you. Do you see? Cross-selling means you are using a product that is complementary to the original product that you bought. That is cross-selling. You can either sell the product yourself or the company that sells it to the customer, you get a cut from it. Anyhow you want to do it, it's cross-selling. Then what is upselling? Upselling is you are selling a more expensive version of the thing that they came to buy. So you can say, Paul, why do you use iPhone 11 now? Oh, yeah. Do I for 13? No, ask me that question. No, I uh, know. Unless you want to buy for me. <laughs> no, go ask me that question for DM. I say, coach, you know, myself, and uh, you go say your phone. <laughs> so, if you buy a more expensive version of it, you have upsold the person. You do see that? You do see that? Like my sister here, I mean, a lot of sales real estate. Say, sir, you want to buy one plot of land? You know, you can, you know, with your one, with, with an extra 500,000, you can do one plot and half. Because when I say, I don't want to do this, let me just share a story with you. I knew of a client that bought one plot of land. 
and a church bought the next plot. Years later, he asked the pastor of the church, how much is this property worth now? The pastor told him that the property is worth 800 million naira. He said the man has never forgiven himself for that regret for the rest of his life. I just want you to think about it. You just drop him. Sila. You close your mouth. If the man agree, you have upsold that man. You see him? Muna Samina, the film. Then the frequency of yeah. then the freak, then the frequency of purchase actually depends on your product. If you are selling a very high ticket item, the frequency may not be high. Somebody will buy land for you, 80 million naira. It may not buy on that land that year. It may not buy on that two years. The only way you can use that is from his own network. So I think your item determines the frequency of purchase. Amazon <laughs> said that because we must read in context. You they buy things from Amazon almost every day. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. So your context matters a lot. If you are selling an high ticket item, the frequency of purchase may not be there, but you can take advantage of the relationship bracket that the people have. Oh, yeah, Kachi, go ahead. Are you guys enjoying this? Very well, sir. One more thing the guy said. Oh, you guys, yes, sir. Talk, you talk, so, sorry, the guy said, we, we, must, we must improve the level of satisfaction that the customer has. The level. Give them satisfaction. Somebody in our WhatsApp group called me once. I was in a train. The man even be Christ. Eh? He said, I'll be a piggy vest, uh, piggy paystack, charge him twice. He was emotional. Vex. Oh, so I want to leave the group. I said, no. Calm down. I stop. Everything what they do. I solve the problem for him. I make him smile. I make him happy. Find your own way like that. You know, if they want refund, say refund. Those way, I don't, I don't refund though. Refund. Those way, refund. Just make and have an abundance mentality. Know that. Listen to me. Money they finish for the universe. He said, out of abundance, he took abundance. Yet, abundance every minute. I have a friend. He did not refund money to one guy. The guy in a coach. Hmm. Did you see what that guy used in IC for, for social media? The embarrassment. Now, I tell that my guy, said, to say you refund this money, give this guy. You know, we get all these. Pala. One day, I felt sick in Lagos. I could not travel. A real estate company had paid me big money to come and speak. I, I was sick. I couldn't go. The people say they want their money back. They want flight ticket back. I sent them everything. Then I went down on my knees and I reported the matter to God. I said, God, give me something else that will satisfy my soul. Because out of abundance, you took abundance, yet abundance remains. It is that satisfaction. Mm. A client gave me a check. He bought books for my hand, what, 1 million and 28,000 naira. He make mistake. Congo right check one million two hundred eighty thousand naira. I can't call him. I saw a guy. You don't overpay me. He said, ah, I don't even remember because the money to plenty for the man hand. He said, okay, for your integrity, keep the change. That is customer satisfaction. Wow. Uh -huh. Because why? Always believe this thing. Out of abundance, we took abundance. Yet abundance remains. In the finish, if you believe it, it will show up for you because the law of attraction works. But please repeat that point number four. Out of abundance, he took abundance. Yet abundance remained. No, that's not that's not what the vision said. Okay, the one he said that we should. Um, let me read it again. He said, "We must work hard." Look at the word "hard." Mm. I wrote a tweet that went a bit viral. I said, "Hard work was invented years ago, and there's still no substitute for it." <laughs> mm. He said, "We must work." <laughs> He said we must work, work out to increase the number of customers. Number of customers that shop with us. That's number one. The number of products they purchase from us, mm -hmm. the frequency with which they shop with us, okay. and the level of satisfaction they do when they buy oh, from oh. us. I like that. Oh, oh. Now work. Oh, that means that some days, because this Amazon where they talk so they don't. I I ordered something from Amazon. They go send me woman. Sorry, the level of satisfaction that what? The, the level of satisfaction that they get. So they make mistakes too, but they will apologize. I, I place an order for a gadget, a product. They go send me woman underwear. I can't call you a woman. Do you want to break my marriage? <laughs> Coach. Do you want to break my marriage? I can't talk like worry boy. My marriage. Always so I said, you want to break my marriage now, Abby? Abby? <laughs> Oh, 
All right. So yeah, it's ploy. So you can go ahead, please. Your hand has been up. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, you can go ahead, yeah. Okay. Good evening, Cody. Thank good you. Evening. In fact, my head has just been hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good evening, go ahead, yeah. Like you just been dishing out like powerful points as yeah. Thank you. So um um recently I did something. So I try to like understudy my audience, especially mm -hmm. on Instagram. And then I started something else. So I, I decided that because, you know, this, I'm a wedding planner. I'm an event planner. And, you know, for a few months now, we've not had any events because of the elections and everything. Yeah, yeah. So, but we just want to remain in the minds of people and let them know what we're doing because, of course, we still have a long time to go in the year. So I, I now thought of something to do that would, you know, attract people to my page and get mm -hmm. more interaction. And then I and then I decided to start giving out free tips, free wedding planning tips. Yes, I, I've been seeing them. I've been seeing them. Mm. <laughs> so I, I, I decided to do something. So I, I started by just writing them with, you know, I used Canva. Yes. But I noticed that the reaction wasn't much. Then I decided to now dance and put the tips in the dance video. Awesome. And I realized that that brought a lot of, you know, engagements to my page. Mm. So in the space of like two weeks, I've had more inquiries than I've had since the beginning of the year. Whoa, can you yeah. imagine? Can you be that? Exactly. And then on Monday, um, I had like a collaboration with Tina of NJ Tours on this group. Yes, yes. We did like it. a conversation on destination weddings because that's another thing that has, you know, become a thing right now. Good. And within the space of Monday till now, I've had inquiries on how people can travel out. So... It's like me and um, Zebulon and NJ Tours are doing like a collaboration right now. So she, they're asking NJ Tours if they plan destination weddings. She says, no, I have a destination wedding planner. And then they come to me and they ask, okay, so how can I get a visa to this place? And I go <laughs> to NJ Tours. NJ Tours. <laughs> so it has just been, we've been getting a lot of, you know, inquiries. And I'm, I'm really positive and hopeful that they will all lead to sales. But the most important thing is that we, we are now in the faces of people who are in their minds. Very good. Very good. So, yeah, and that you started thinking broadly that way in terms of partnership. Exactly. Exactly. Very, very good. Very good. This is so good. Uh, if you have anybody else anything to say before we wrap up the class? Anybody else anything to say before the wrap up the class? Any questions? Put up your hand, though. Was this useful to you? What did you okay. learn? Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, uh, coach. Coach. Yeah, Coach, Harold. I want to say thank you. Yeah, I just want to say thank you. This this session is loaded. In fact, it's a it's an MBA course itself. You know, in very top universities. So I want to thank you very much. Uh, what I want to say is that for me, partnership is is key. Yeah. You know, because uh, my, 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 on down, after Harold, you speak right. Yeah, because in my business, I, I call if if I can develop a partner in terms of training. You know, and in terms of giving all the necessary skills they need, you know, to grow, then I can compound, you know, compound by my income. Yeah. So it's very important to develop and develop. You have to give everything, assist the partner to grow, yes. assist the partner, you know, to understand the business, assist the partner to expand the means, yes. and assist the partner to also get other partners. Very okay, good. yeah, that's it. So it's, it's in life that is it. If you it, it said it, it, like Zig Ziglar said. If you want to get one million, help other people to get that one million, That's and you it. will get it. That's it. And that is it. That's Go it. to help other people to grow. Thank you. Other businesses to grow. Collaboration is the name of the game. Very key. So don't, don't don't think only about yourself. Think big. Expand your means. You I know. Like that. Have like the that. confidence to go that big, and Good. we we grow big. We grow together. Good. Grow big. Grow together. And also, Teamwork. when you get the idea for the collaboration, please don't second guess yourself. Don't hesitate make the call it's a sales call it is a sales call make the call if you get it make the call i had a training once it was an online class it was sold out i mean we made crazy money from that i actually called a big madam because i know she's very very successful i said you have a lot of young people that look up to you in your state why don't you pay for like 100 of them to attend this class. That's partnership. She paid. But if you don't ask, you won't get. 
He said, you have not because you ask not. Some of you have partnership ideas, but you just, you will judge people in your head before you call. You say, you never agree. You never agree. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Popo, I want to say something. Popo, I want to say something. Popo, I want to say something. Right? Thank you very much. I, I had a great time with this um, review and I learned a lot. But you see, I've always believed that two heads are better than one. Mm. Right? And I've spoken to a couple of um, people in my industry, mm -hmm. like realtors. How can we come together? How can we collaborate? But you know, because it's a competitive world out there, or maybe they are actually not seeing what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. they, they are not seeing that collaboration is the new currency. For most of them I go to, the answer is always like, maybe like posting you and let me think about it. You know, I do a lot of follow-ups and I don't get any response from them. So what do you do in that kind of situation? Because I have tried, like, you, you get there are even some people that we started something like as regards partnership and everything was just like on hold uh, stand Ari, still Ari, don't, don't, because... don't go far some people learn if mm. they don't see the light you can't force that light inside them okay you okay. cannot force the light inside them we are, oh. we are all in the same industry if they don't see yeah. it, go into another industry Okay. Yes. Are you allowed to me the light? Too. I want to see the light. Those people that do. Um, <laughs> What's your name, please? Let's there connect. Are that manufacture. Uh, there's a guy it's that trouble. manufactures. There's a guy that manufactures and tiles in our community in Abuja. Okay. He called me. Told me, say, Coach, the orders oh, that we get for one. tiles, right? We can't even feel it. They manufacture tiles, so we want to partner with okay. them. Okay. You can't force people. They don't see the light. Forget it. Okay. Hey, Remy, hey, please go ahead. Thank you. Thank you for Thank that. Thank you so much, Cole. Thank you so much, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here. I started my business in January this year, so I'm still very new to business. And I've actually learned a lot from the great minds on this platform. Like, this is the business school I actually need to be in right now. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> and I'm sure I'll actually I'll continue my subscription in the group. And Thank my take-home for tonight is out of abundance it took abundance yeah. yet, yet abundance, abundance remaining. remaining like that yeah. is going to stick with me for the rest of the month yeah. thank you very much wow thank you so much jessica jessica george jg <laughs> thank you very much sir. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> thank you so much sir for yeah. um tonight's session well i'm going to talk about collaboration so this is like something I've always planned to do, but because of the scarcity of um, cash and all that has been happening in Nigeria right now, it has somehow slowed me down. My, I work with Lost Group International as a um, real estate consultant and as a business associate. And then apart from selling properties, there's something we also do. We have um, an investment platform that allows um, clients to... Okay, just like what the banking industry do, where they do fixed deposits, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then they get... I don't know how much the bank gives, but I know it's less than 5%. My company gives 30%. So I came up with an idea. I thought, I said I could go to the bank, right? We use GT Bank mm -hmm. for investment. So I said I could go to the bank, meet up with maybe the cashier. Or first of all, I have to open an account with GT Bank because I need mm -hmm. to have an account with the, with the bank before I can even do this. So open an account, save money there, maybe some one week, and then go back again as though I have a complaint. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I'll meet with maybe the, the, the cashier or meet with um, any marketer. And then um, get their, their phone number, get to hold a one-on-one -on -one meeting with the person, I, uh, and then discuss about how I can get um, the clients that do fixed deposits mm -hmm. through them. Because I know they have some clients that do fixed deposits. Some don't just know about better investment. So get, uh, get across to them. I know how I can get clients that do fixed deposits. Now, these clients are not losing their money from GT Bank. Their money is still in GT Bank. Yeah. The only thing is that they are going to save under my company. And then this is me bringing in clients. This is me getting clients. I, or this is me right as selling, selling my product to them. Yeah. So I'm just sharing it because I know we talked about collaboration this night. And it's something I plan on doing. And I've not done it yet because Nigeria has been very, very wonderful since the yeah. whole election. Yeah. You know, it's very, yeah. very wonderful. Yeah. And cash, the bank, you go to the bank, there's scary, but it's kind of frustrated. I know mm. me anyways. Mm. So that I'm not ringing it up, like I said, because of we talked because we talked about collaboration. I mean, just uh, just um, um 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 feed that idea. My advice for that idea is if you can get get to know bankers, you know, 
they should do their own recommendation by themselves because they know these people who deposit money. There's really mm. not much in this field. I know of a guy that deposited money in a bank, fixed deposit. I was even yes, looking at yes. it. So that money, yeah. to to that money, he suffered. But when I came, my money with piggy vest, so, I just click one button, uh, money entered my account. So guys, let's wrap up now and um, yeah, call, this, call this a wrap. So what I can take from Shagun. Go ahead. Um, I just want to, I just want to share. I just want to quick have a quick response to ah uh, on um on a suggestion. Very fantastic idea, but as much as possible, I mean, you have to be a bit careful about implementing that idea. Yes, very, I'm very, speaking yeah. now from experience. I mean. Yeah. I'm an ex banker. Uh, I did uh, banking uh, for uh, 20 years. Okay. Okay. You, you can chat me up. I didn't really see it. I already had it. Like I said, I don't know where. All right, guys. I don't want this guy to come beyond one hour. Now it's one hour, 30 minutes. If I allow this guy, we'll just be long. So, thank you very much. Was well, this useful thank to you. everybody? Very useful. Very useful. Very useful. Are you guys looking forward to the next book review? Oh, yes, sure, sure. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, we may, sir, we may, sir. We may do a podcast review. There's a podcast I'm listening to. It's like two hours long. Maybe that or a book for 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 next month. And uh, it's going to be good. Otabo, thank God for your testimony. What's the title of the podcast, sir? I don't know yet. I but of why don't you give us a list of the books for the year so that we can start getting them? No, yeah? Mom, I, I, you know what? I, I can't give you. If I give you one, what if I change the changes? Yeah, at least we know the books that you know, where your mind is going to. Okay, no book fine. is wasted. But so how many more books least... we have down to go? How many more books we have down to go? Nine, nine, okay. nine, 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 more. nine, nine more. Nine, nine more. So I will mean, give us the list so that we can start looking for it and searching and buying it. No problem, no problem. Yeah. I will drop the okay. replay of this tomorrow so everybody can listen to it again and enjoy. Okay. Do have a great evening, everybody. Collaborate. Thank you so much, Coach. But if you want to collaborate with anybody in the community, if the money is very, very big, you should involve me. At least let, let a third witness be there. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, be... that's true. Yeah, that's uh -huh. true. No, be say, mm -hmm. no, be say, you have no boss now. Every day, every day, boss mm -hmm. come, come, come me. Uh, come me if what happened. <laughs> <laughs> if go one of the the money, I, I, know this. I don't want the money, but at least make a no. Uh -huh, that's what it be. be. That's good. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. So, um, okay. you know, I mean, people have bought property, but somebody bought land from somebody in this group. It's 17 million. They are all happy. It happened. So, God bless you, everybody. Have a good evening. God bless you. My regards Thank to your you, family. Sir. Good I'll see you guys in the morning, Ginger. But so, what you go, you go back to the group and tell the other people you want to say hello to them. Hey, hey mama oh hey mom Hi. good to see you <laughs> good to see you <laughs> thank you very much all right so um please tell everybody in the group we're we not did the group we're not calling the book Mona Pepe, they say me the review was amazing what you learned so that we get more people to come because if you read more you will grow uh, more, trust me absolutely you will grow more. it's so powerful to read god bless you appreciate let's pray father in the name of jesus we thank you on tonight we thank you for our people, those who came here, the families mm -hmm. that were represented here tonight, and the businesses. Lord, bless the work of their hand. You know, in, mm -hmm. even, even in your land, regardless of the famine in the land, regardless of the mm -hmm. we, can mm -hmm. we can prosper. Open the eyes of our understanding. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, bless these people, bless the work of their hand, protect and deliver them. From anything that is not of you, make them grow spiritually, psychologically, emotionally in the name of the Lord. Grant them favor. Cause customers to locate them from the east, the north, the side, the west. Give them the seal to take action in the precious name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We pray. And the children of God said, Amen. Have a great day, everybody. God bless you. Amen. Amen.